Is the ah! uh. Alright, good morning. Uh. I'm swallowing bugs. <coughs> it is. Is what it's all about. I am in a brand new location right now, and as um, soon as we get this coffee pumping, we're going out there fishing because it looks, it looks really good. What's going on, doggies? Welcome to a solo camping mission. So I am bloody excited about this one because this place in the background here is somewhere that I've wanted to come for a very long time, but you cannot fish this place with swell. So right now. We've got nearly nearly next to no swell. So I've come here, we're fighting a little bit of wind, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass, but we can push through that. And um, man, I am excited to get out here, and start flicking a few lures around. So what the plan is, I'm gonna start fishing on this rock. We'll fish this area, jump onto this rock. Then we're gonna come into here, we'll fish this area. Then we've got to climb up on top of this rock around the back of that rock and get onto this beach which is around the corner there once we're on that beach walk all the way up along there as far as we can fishing the whole entire way and hopefully hopefully we can get ourselves either a little bit of breakfast lunch or even dinner but what i want to do tonight which i'm super excited about is way in the background over there there's a cave way way over there there's a cave i want to make my way to that cave before sunset, set up the tent. We'll sleep in that cave tonight. Maybe fish there as well, but um, first of all, we've got a coffee to make. All right, so this pot is gonna be used as a cup as well because I didn't bring a cup and um, that's just pretty much standard. So this is gonna be our coffee cup. Can't start the day without a coffee. Oh no, the stick just fell in there. Ow, ow. All right, that's way too hot to drink. So we'll let that cool down over there. Plastic always goes in your pocket, never goes on the rocks. And um, what I'm gonna do now, I'll set up my fishing gear and we'll start flicking a couple of lures around while that delicious coffee cools down. We are in Bali today. And as you guys probably know by now, Bali is, um, it's a hard place to fish, man. It's pretty fished out if you're fishing land-based, but this is a spot that I've wanted to come to for a long time. It looks really dope, like there's heaps of bommies in the water. There's a lot of bommies out there. If you don't know what a bommy is, bommy is, um, in Australia we call, a, we call a bommy, but it's short for the word bombara. So bombara is an indigenous name for a cluster of reef where it comes kind of like from flat water and it'll come into like a big mushroom shape of rock. So it's nickname, we call it a bommy. Uh, indigenous Australians call it a bombara. I don't know what other countries call them, but um, it's sort of where fish sort of hide and congregate. So there's a lot of them out here. And that's something that I'm, that gets me a little bit excited because it actually looks really sick. It's super clear. This wind is going to be a pain in the ass, but um, we can only do what we can do, so. Oh, that's so good. Who needs a coffee cup? Oh, slippery man. All right, we've made it on location and it's looking good. Have a look how good this is. Man. So these are the bommies that I'm talking about. There's a big rock in the water there. There's another one out there. There's one down here. So it's good ground. We're fishing really good ground here. This would be epic to dive. I would love to come here when I get my dive gear finally and do dive this whole entire... We're doing that. Oh. All right, we are definitely diving here. So I haven't done any free diving on this channel yet because my stuff has been stuck on another island in Indonesia for nearly a year now. I, ne I haven't free, free, free diving, free diving, spear fish, whatever you want to call it. I haven't done that for like a year now because of this coronavirus. So um, I'm super pumped to get all my gear back and like this just looks 
insanely good for a little bit of a play. So, well, we don't have a spear fishing stuff, so stop talking shit. And um, I'll start flicking this lure around and hopefully we'll get a bit of a hookup. Be sick to go down there and cook a fish on the fire. That's the goal, anyway. Let's go, first cast. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on. Whoosh. Oh, well, well, well. That's fishing for you. So we've been flogging this spot for about two hours now and I have not had one sniff. Been casting that stick bait. I've also been casting a little 30 gram jig just so we can work the surface and the bottom and we're having absolutely no luck. So I think we'll get off this rock and we're gonna head over to these sick little beaches. I've got to somehow find my way over there, but these beaches in the background look absolutely epic. It's really shallow, so I don't really know how we're going to go for fishing, but it's more of an exploring mission, so... The first thing is how we're going to get to the beach, because we've got to get over this massive rock here. I've got to somehow cross over the top of that, because I can't go across here. I've got my drone in my bag, so... This is our first obstacle. We've got to get up and over that rock to get onto these epic little beaches. Let's do this. All right, let's go and explore. This is what it's all about, trying to find ways over to that beach there. It's gonna be interesting. It's super sketchy, but like, this stuff here is just so loose. And I just, <laughs> just go straight down to that big cliff there, so. Treading with caution, but I'm pretty stoked to get up here. Oh, it's beautiful, man. No way. Leave that there. Oh, yeah. We're on the top. So that's where we were just fishing down there. This is killer. This is where we want to get to. All the way along there. Up there if we can. Wow. Oh, this is sketchy. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is super slippery right now. Hey, ish. There's so much cactus around me. Every time I got to grab onto the side, it's just spiky as cactus. This is sketchy, man. Oh. Holy shit. Boy. What? Boy. That's psycho. Oh. And I just completely dusted the camera. That's so, that's hectic. You can't even. You have got no control over your body. It probably just looks like a little anthill on the camera, but that's super slippery, man. Huh, anyway, we're down here. We made it. Oh, it looks so good, man. Oh, baby, 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 look at it. All right, if we don't catch any fish today, I know what we're gonna have for lunch. Have a look at the size of these snails. You guys have seen us eat these snails before, but never that big. That's huge, man. Look at the, look at this thing. That is the biggest snail I've ever seen. All right, if we don't get fish, this is our lunch. Look at them all, man. Oh. Yum, yum. All right, I'm gonna have a few casts out here and then we'll just keep making our way along the coast there, but it's 
snails are looking pretty good right now because I'm starving. All right, there's no turning back now. Woo! Oh shit. Ow. Ah. Yeah. Look at this, man. <laughs> oh. oh, it looks so sick. It's actually really shallow. This could be a losing lure session. Oh, I've been sitting on this rock for about, <laughs> I've been literally standing on this rock for maybe an hour and a half casting lures. And I have had not one fish come in and sniff the lure again. So I don't know what's going on, but this is fishing. You've got to cop there. You've got to take the good with the bad. And um, it looks like we're going to eat some snails for lunch, doggies, because I'm starving. Had no breakfast, no lunch. It's past lunchtime now anyway. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing. Put the fishing rod down, I'm gonna go collect a shitload of snails, we're gonna start a fire and we're gonna have one hell of a lunch because there ain't no fish on the menu today. Oh! Go, go, go! Ow! Righto, we're on a mission to go find sticks, start a fire and eat about 50 to 60 snails. That is my new mission because fishing is just not an option. There's just no fish here. And um, this little beach just around the corner here looks like there's a whole lot of wood on it. So we'll go collect a, sh collect a shitload of wood and then we'll um, start a little bit of a snail cook up. So this is probably the main reason why we're not getting any fish. Have a look at this beach. I don't even have to move my move spots and I can fill up my hands with rubbish. Look at this. The amount of thongs, plastic. Look at this man. This is why we're not getting any fish right now. This is the most amazing, beautiful part of coastline, like massive cliffs, green wall, like green plants growing on the cliffs, cactuses, crystal clear water, beautiful, beautiful looking things, and then Boom, you come around the corner to beaches like this. This is ah! I just got that in my hand. Well, at least it's not rubbish. Now I gotta get these things out of my hand. Oh! That actually snapped off in my hand. Revenge of the cactus. But I mean, look at this man. No wonder why I'm not getting any fish. This beach is, it's disgusting. Have a look at this. Is this the most disgusting thing you've ever seen? I'll tell you what, if I was a fish, I wouldn't want to be swimming out there either. But on the other hand, it's really good for me because when I don't catch fish, I can just easily just blame it on the rubbish, see? It works either way. <laughs> but man, it's pretty sad to see these beaches like this. And the sad thing is that I'm getting used to seeing beaches like that. Like being stuck in Bali for nearly over a year. It's a, just an everyday thing now. Sucks. All right, that is probably enough wood for us to start our fire. It's definitely enough wood for us to start our fire. But next, 
We're gonna go get a couple of snails and cook them up. If you guys have never tried eating these snails or periwinkles as we call them back in Australia, give it a shot because they're actually really tasty, especially when you boil them up in salt water like we're gonna do right now. So I'll go grab a couple of these snails. Couple, I'm gonna go, I'm mean, literally gonna eat about 20, 30, 40 of these snails. I'm starving. Oh, look at this, man. They are massive, dude. <laughs> look at that thing. Wow. They're gonna have a proper feast. So many. These two are getting it on, so I'll leave them alone. Oh man, look at it. Alright, the secret to any fire. Dry stuff and small stuff. It's as easy as that. So we've just got some leaves, some grass. Almost looks like I'm building a bird's nest here. But that's pretty dry, it's a little bit wet. It's been raining this morning, so all oh, this is a little bit damp, but it's not too bad. And we're gonna be lazy today. We're just starting a fire. The old Larry, the old school Larry way with a lighter because um, I thought I'd actually be fishing all day, but you know what, I gave up on fishing and this is actually a lot more fun, so. Never thought I'd be eating snails, but oh yeah, I'll take this any day. Look at that, mate. That was easy, wasn't it? All right, we got some bigger sticks set up. Oh, this is gonna be mad. You're joking. Every single time I start a fire, it starts raining. Like, it's like I have this curse over me. Every time I start a fire, it starts raining. Look at this cloud up here, man. Big black butzer. Anyway, we've got our fire big enough now that um, it's going to really have to piss down to put the fire out. So it looks pretty good. It's probably good enough to cook on right now. All right, we're looking pretty bloody good to cook on. So that's just going to sit on those two pieces of wood. Those two pieces of wood have elevated the pot off the ground just so you can get oxygen underneath there. It'll keep that fire under there pumping and that is going to boil in no time. Alright, so I've taken the snails out of that pot so we'll get the water real hot once it's boiling. Then we'll dump the snails in so they have like an instant death. They don't sort of like gradually get hot and hot and hot and then you know what I mean? So. Once that water starts boiling, we'll dump our lunch in and we'll be on. Oh, it's hot. Ow. All right, the last snails are going in. That is seriously hot water. Oh man, I am super excited for this. Why? Oh, that's smoke. All right, these snails have been on for about seven minutes, 10 minutes, and they're gonna be, ah, oh, that is so hot, bruh. Oosh, 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 oosh. They're definitely gonna be ready, Woo. All right, lunch is served. So, for this five course meal, you're gonna need two things. Number one is a good attitude. Number two is a big stinking fishing hook because, ooh, that's bloody hot. These snails, to get them out of their shell, you need a fishing hook and you can just like pry them out of their shell. Sometimes they come out easy, sometimes they don't. This one is not playing the game, but we'll get him. Come on. Oh, he's really stuck in there. Here we go. Get out. Look at this. That is what you eat. 
Hi there. Is that a lunch? Oh man, it's so tasty. You've got to try these. If you've never tried them, you've got to try them. I can't really say what it tastes like because it tastes like nothing I've had before, but I actually really do enjoy them. I'm not just saying it. There you go. And these are actually pretty big ones. You probably get that much meat out of it. It's like a finger. I just dusted every single one of those snails I have. Two snails left. So that's how much meat you get out of them. It's not a lot of meat, but I mean, I just ate about 20 or 30 of them. And um, it fills the gap anyway, it fills that little hole. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna leave here. I was originally gonna sleep here behind me somewhere, but you know what? Let's get out of here because if it does piss down with rain tonight, we're gonna be in a tent, so um, I'm gonna go over here. So I'm gonna make my way over to this headland here. On this headland, there's a cave inside that wall there. That is where we're gonna be sleeping tonight. If, well, if everything goes to plan, that's our next mission. We need to get there. All right, we are done and dusted in the kitchen. Thanks for having us, it's been real. But um, we need to go find some fish, so. And we need to find somewhere to sleep. This rain hasn't stopped since I started cooking, so I'm gonna say that it's probably gonna stay like this for the rest of the afternoon, so I wouldn't mind fi finding somewhere dry to sleep, which the cave obviously is gonna be somewhere dry. Or I know there's another cave around the, a little bit further away, but that's gonna be a hell of a walk. So we'll go to this one. We'll see if we can get there first. Oh man. All right, we're halfway up the slope. That is a mission, dude. At least I have the snail power in me. Oh man, I'm knackered, that is slippery, dude. Had to put the camera down, have all hands on deck for that, but we made it. We definitely made it up. All right, let's go. All right, I'll see you guys at the top. You definitely don't want to fall down there. This is super slippery right now. <sighs> Look at this shit, man. <laughs> if I fell down there, I'd be cooked. There's just no easy way down. Right, I it's smooth sailing from here. It's just like rocks like this. Pretty easy to walk on, so I'm gonna check out and I'll check back in with you mad dogs when we're at the cliff, because there is like literally, we've got to climb down a cliff with a rope and um, it's a little bit sketchy, especially with a backpack that weighs 20 kilos. And uh, it's been raining, those rocks are gonna be slippery, so I'll check back in with you mad dogs then and we'll go from there. All right, we've made it. And uh, it's another sketchy climb ahead. It took so much longer than I originally thought to get here, but we're here. And I got about half an hour of sunlight left to set up the tent, get everything sorted before it goes really dark. So we just got to climb down this cliff now. Ooh, we're just going to get down this cliff and then we'll be in the cave. But it's probably sounds easier than it actually is. So this is our new obstacle today. We've got to go. That is a massive cliff and that's like 30 foot, 35 foot down. I've got to grab this blue rope here and like abseil down to the bottom of that black rock there with my fishing rod and this backpack on. If you're an OG follower, you will remember this place. I've been here before and um, we've slept in this cave before. It's actually a really good place to sleep when it rains. So I want to go down there. It's just sketchy when it's raining, man. It's really slippery. But there's no turning back now. We're here. So let's get down there. Ugh. 
though. There's like nowhere to put my hands here. Oh dude, this is sketchy as All right, let's go. So that is the end of the rope. I've got no rope left, it's on me now. And these rocks are slippery. <laughs> this is pretty sick, but this is what living, this is, this is the definition of living right now. Ay, 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 ay. I really, really hope I can get a fish before sunset or I'm going hungry tonight. Pretty much a case if you fall, you die. There's nowhere good to hold on to. <laughs> this is psycho. mission but we made it and we're safe we didn't die we didn't slip have a look at the house for the night man I am stuffed from that but this is the cave that we're gonna be sleeping in it's big it's beautiful it's gonna be dry look at it big mama's house all right we've got about I don't know what have we got 40 minutes of light left before that sun goes down, so I'm gonna quickly set up the rod. Piff lures as hard, as fast, as dedicated as I can until it goes dark. Try to get some dinner. If we don't get dinner, I'm going hungry tonight. So let's go. We need to get some fish on the deck. Ooh, that's the goal. <laughs> it's actually so funny. I've never set up a fishing rod so fast in my entire life. <laughs> I would love to get something for dinner. But then again, we're fishing very, very dead waters. So it's like a, it's like a lucky draw right now. But like I said, you gotta be in it to win it. So let's get out there as soon as possible. All right, we're on. Let's go down to this rock here with half an hour of light left <laughs> and get ourselves a fish. Come on, we've got to get a feed. I'd love to put something on the fire. It'd be so good to hook up to something right now. Oh man. It would be, it'd be a dream right now. Come on, bang, bang, bang. Ha, big boof. I can feel it in my bones, that excitement. That dies off pretty quickly when you don't get bites. Come on, mama. Let's go. Come on, big papa. Come on, baby. 
Okay, so we're still casting and um, maybe I've had one long tom had a sniff, maybe. Very weird like tap in the water. But that's it, there's nothing really happening. So we've probably got about 10 minutes, 15 minutes of sunlight left. So I am gonna go set up my tent before I absolutely, before it goes pitch black. This is my last cast. I'm gonna quickly set up the tent. If we've got time, I'll come back down. Keep flicking lures because um, persistence pays off sometimes. So that's it. This is my last cast. All right, let's go. Set up the tent. I'll set the tent up and then we'll come back down if we get time. And we'll, uh, we'll keep fishing. Let's do this. Home sweet home, baby. Oh, I'm gonna say this every time I set up this tent. I wish I had my swag here. But, in saying I wish I had my swag, that tent just set up in like, literally, I just set that up in, I don't know, under two minutes. That was like, it's literally just roll it out, put the clips on and you're done. So it's actually a pretty sick little tent, especially for this kind of reasons. And the best thing about it is, this mesh is like mosquito proof. It's sand fly proof. So I can, because I'm in Indonesia right now and it is stinking hot, humid when it rains, you don't have to put the rain cover on it. I can sleep on it like this. You still get a nice breeze in there and um, no mosquitoes, which is killer. So tent is set up and we still have time to fish. So you know what we're doing? We're going fishing again. Even if you don't get a fish, that is one banging sunset. And then one, two, three, four, boom! Yeah, nah, bud, keep dreaming. But it's beautiful, look at it. Okay, I fished hard. I fished very, very hard and nothing. As you guys can see, it is very, very dark right now, but we have got one banging sunset. Let me scratch my head torch out of my bag and we'll, um, yeah, we'll go from there. How epic is that sky? That is, that is banging. So pretty much this is what we're doing tonight. This will be me in there all night long. Not getting wet if it rains because we've got a cave and um, I'm good. All right, the mozzies are out to play, which means I'm gonna go hide in my mozzie proof tent, but I've just checked my phone and I've got a message from Andy saying that he wants to go fishing at Spot X tomorrow. And um, it's, I've just named it Spot X because it's the only place in Indonesia where you can get that life, once in a lifetime fish like 40 kilo plus GT. So if he replies to me tonight, I have to pack up my tent at 1 a.m., drive two hours down the coast, meet him at a boat ramp at 3 a.m. And then we're gonna drive through the darkness of the morning to a little island where they're gonna be popping for big GTs. If that doesn't go ahead, I'll sleep in the tent, wake up here for sunrise and we'll fish this ledge. So either or, we've got some good options, but um, all right, I'm gonna jump inside my little tent here, go to sleep and I'll see you guys either on the boat or down here. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but I'm just waiting for the reply, but I'm kind of fizzing for either one, either one of them. So see you in the morning, much love and yo. These bugs are psycho, man. All right, good morning guys. It's, um, <coughs> it is 12.29 in the morning. I don't know if you can see that. <coughs> it's 12.29. Honestly, I've had about, I don't know, two hours sleep to be honest. Two hours of good sleep, but um, we've got to get, I've got to get going. I've got to pack up this tent because last night Andy replied and he said, yeah, we're going fishing. So he confirmed it and um, that's sick. So we're going fishing. So I'm going to pack up this tent um, let's climb up that, I'm gonna climb up that super sketchy cliff again and then um, 
we'll get going, we'll get fishing out in the boat. It's gonna be a sick day, I think, hopefully. Oh, all right, we're all packed up, ready to go. I'm um, not looking forward oh, to the walk up the cliff, that's for sure. But it's a beautiful still morning. Man, there's not a breath of wind out there. Nothing, so uh, we could be on for a very, very exciting day. fishing hard and um, it's a repeat of yesterday. I am I am beyond tired. I'm knackered but the froth levels are high. It's keeping me going because I know that there's big dogs around here. We've had a sniff but no hookups. Um, there's a couple of tonkos swimming around. They're not feeding. It's very strange but um, we're just going to stay persistent, keep flicking, keep flicking and hopefully we get that big, big boom that we come for. But uh, man, it's a beautiful day. The rain stopped. Everything's working out except for we haven't had that big bang yet, but it's coming so stay tuned Hopefully hopefully we get that big dog. It is um I'm frothing. I'm fizzing. We gotta get it All right after a grueling couple of hours actually nearly a whole day out here. We've got our first hookup for the day Andy has finally hooked up to a fish nah, It's been hard work out here, but um we've got one yeah, doggy. Yeah, doggy. fishing all day for that's what I woke up at 12 30 in the morning it's not my fish but it's good enough to see it that's a sick one brother good yeah, job brother. on the Andy Sashi lure and oh, that's a big fish look at the size of it beautiful thing yeah yeah doggy Woo that's a fish on the noodle rod and this is a decent fish oh that thing smoked it Wow, man. Woo! I've been getting heaps of little groper, like small groper on this jig. And this thing has just come and smoked it. Bluefin, yeah? Yeah. Hey! It's a beautiful little boy. Oh, look at the colors in him. That's so nice. Not even joking. When in doubt, get the noodle rod out. Seriously, we've been struggling all day. Andy's got one absolute beast of a GT. And then I was like, all right, I'm resorting to the noodle rod. I need to get one fish. I've got no fish within two days of fishing. And then we get this beautiful little bluefin trevally absolutely amazing colors i don't know if you can see them it's pretty overcast out here but man that's a beautiful little fish took a 30 gram jig and um what a way to end the day all right doggies i'm going to end it on this fish because the way that it's gone we're not getting much so thank you for watching much love and i'll uh, see you in the next one Woo!